so let's talk a little bit more about the direct and indirect access so you have must have heard here in the news read in the newspapers or heard at in the tv programs that direct access are better than the indirect access so why is that the case so direct access are better because they are pro progressive so they are on the income of the people so more income means more taxes less income means less taxes so in this way they uh, affect the rich more than the poor indirect taxes are depending are are on expenditure so in a case of expenditure of course uh, the rich people spend more than the poor but the proportion of the expenditure is uh, the taxes are proportional so the poor people are almost as much affected by the indirect taxes as the rich people and of course in pakistan uh, the the trend currently is that there are more indirect taxes like the biggest chunk of fpr revenue comes from the sales tax which is the indirect taxes and not from the income tax which is a direct tax so other than taxes which are collected by the fpr there are other taxes which are uh, collected by other bodies for example ministry of petroleum uh, collects gas infrastructure um Uh, development cess uh, and this was levied on the businesses uh, to uh, to build the pakistan iran pipeline then there is the natural gas development surcharge which is the differential between the price uh, of at the well head and the sales price and it is given to the provinces uh, then there is the petroleum levy and this levy is uh, is charged so that uh, the price of um, petroleum is same all over the country otherwise of course most of the uh, imported petroleum comes in karachi so karachi should have far less price of uh, uh, petroleum than what is uh, in gilgit or in chitral because then oil has to be transported there but because of this levy the price all over the country is the same then there are taxes by the ict which is the islamabad capital territory taxes there is the airport tax by the civil aviation authority and of course there is the new uh, mobile handset levy tax uh, if you buy a uh, mobile from outside cell phone from outside when you land in pakistan you have to pay a certain tax uh, if you don't pay it Uh, you can you uh, use it pti blocks it uh, pta blocks it after two months so there are taxes collected by the fpr and then there are collect taxes collected by some other bodies uh, then there is the non tax revenue so majority uh, receipts in case of non tax revenue are interest receipts so federal government gives loans to the provinces and other autonomous bodies and the interest on that is uh, is the non tax revenue then there is the dividend received uh, from uh, uh, organizations that uh, majority share is held by the government of pakistan like state bank of pakistan there is then there is profit earned by regulatory authorities like pta uh, when it sells licenses it gets a large amount of billions of rupees and that is then transferred to uh, the federal government then with these uh, revenue which comes from inside the government there are the external revenues uh, which come from outside like loans from uh, project loans from uh, other countries multilateral or bilateral partners uh, there is there are program loans uh, there and then of course there are other loans such as budgetary support uh, which is given to you the money is given to you and you can spend anywhere and then there are grants which you don't have to pay back then there are of course public account receipts national savings schemes postal insurance fund provident fund security deposits of contractors you have to return them so they are in a different public account 
there are two types of expenditures, the current expenditure and the development expenditures, as explained before, that current expenditures are recurring day-to-day uh, -day expenditures and development expenditures are one-off project-based expenditure. Uh, major areas expense, uh, expenditure in case of Pakistan, current, current expenditure in case of Pakistan are debt servicing. So we have a large loan and we have to pay the interest and the principal back so that is our major exp uh, expenditure, almost 30% or more is spent on that. Then there is defense, lots of money was, is spent on defense. Then there is the civil administration. And then there are grants and transfers and subsidies to the provinces, uh, to different provinces and different organizations. So if you look at this uh, summary, uh, it's from the budget in brief, a book published by the Ministry of Finance, you can see the markup payment, which is, of course, the debt servicing. Then there's the pensions, um, military, both military and civil. Then there are defense affairs and services and grants and transfers and subsidies. All these are there. In case of development expenditure, we have public sector development program and provincial annual development programs. If you look at the federal PSTP, we have all these, uh, you know, different divisions. And in front of them is their expenditure. Finance division has a big expenditure. Climate change division has a big expenditure. Then communication has a big expenditure. Corporations, uh, you have uh, take lots of money. So all these are the expenditures which are development expenditures. So this is an overview of the Pakistani budget.